to the summit. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Welcome to the Love. I think I should take these off because I can't read. Um, we are showing Dr. Strange Love tonight because, like Chris said, it is one of my favorite films. I watched it in high school where I kind of didn't understand it because I did not grow up a Cold War kid. <laughs> um, but, you know, the more I learned about it, the more I liked it. Um, so I hope you guys enjoy it for people who haven't seen it. Uh, the film was released in 1964 at the height of the Cold War. Uh, and it actually led to real policy changes that ensured the events depicted in the film, um, being one person taking over and making the decision to drop the big one, uh, couldn't actually occur in real life. While shooting footage over Greenland, uh, the second camera unit accidentally filmed a secret military base. The plane was forced down, and the crew was suspected of being Soviet spies. They weren't, so they are fine, I guess. <laughs> uh, Peter Sellers, uh, the gentleman who plays three parts in this movie, was paid $1 million, which was quite a bit in 1963, 55% of the film's budget. Kubrick once said, uh, the director of the film, I got three for the price of six. Sellers improvised most of his lines, which if you watch is pretty impressive because uh, he does play three characters and it's just impressive how funny he is off the top of his head. Uh, the scene where General Turgidson, who's played by George C. Scott, who's a prolific actor in his own right, uh, he trips and falls in the war room. He gets back up and reserves talking as if nothing happened was actually an accident. Kubrick mistakenly thought that it was Scott still being in character, so he left it in the film, which is surprising because Stanley Kubrick did about a million takes for every scene. Um, so to pick that one, he must have really liked it a lot. Major Kong, who's played by an uh, actor who's pretty famous, uh, Slim Pickens, who is pretty famous for his ro roles in country um, or Western movies, uh, uh, had the survival kit that they had put into the plane and said a fellow could have a pretty good weekend in Dallas with all this stuff. Dallas was then overdubbed before the release of the film with the city of Las Vegas because President Kennedy had just been assassinated in Dallas. Um, so people were pretty, pretty, um, the nerves were still raw. Uh, as research for the film, Kubrick read almost 50 books on nuclear war, which isn't a surprise because he did intense amounts of research. Um, there's a documentary where they go into his home and it's just this huge mansion in England filled with box after box after box of his own artifacts and all of his research material. He was very detail oriented. Uh, there's a great deal of editing and cutting away shots in the sequence where Strange Loves gets carried away in the war room when his out of control right hand uh, makes the Nazi salute and then tries to strangle himself. himself. This is mainly to cover up the cast around him laughing, despite this Peter Bull who played the Soviet ambassador, Dostoevsky, can be glimpsed trying to suppress his laughter. The war room contains a large table of food uh, because Kubrick intended the film to end with a custard pie fight. I was gonna bring in custard pies, but man, Wegman's pies are expensive, mm -hmm. so sorry. <laughs> um, between the Russians and the Americans, he decided not to use the footage because he found it too farcical to fit in with the satirical nature of the movie the only known public uh, showing of the pie fight scene was at the 1999 screening at the London National Film Theater following uh, Kubrick's death. Uh, the Dr. Strangelove glove is from Kubrick's personal collection. Sellers had seen it, um, se had seen Kubrick wearing them to handle the hot set lights and he thought they looked sinister so he wore it on his right hand to add to Strangelove's eeriness. Dr. Strangelove uh, apparently suffers from agnostic expressia known as alien hand syndrome. It's uh, caused by the damage to the corpus callosum, the nerve fibers that connected to the brain's two hemispheres. This is a real thing. Researchers at the University of Aberdeen who identified it named it Strange Love Syndrome after the movie was released. So they renamed it. Um, according to Professor Sergio Del, Della Sala, patients slam their hand and shout, my hands do things that I don't want them to do, which is why he was constantly Nazi saluting and his own hand was trying to take him down. So I hope you guys enjoy the film. Uh, keep an eye out for um, clues to the quiz. Uh, that'll be afterward. Uh, we have 10 questions. Some are easy, some are hard. So pay attention to all the little details and you'll probably get them all right. <laughs> Wheel me away, please. <laughs>